1958 when these two nations met in the quarter-final of that competition. Socrates, Brazil's captain, of course. An erudite character off the field and on it. And his name is the result of his father's interest in the culture of the ancient Greeks. And believe it or not, Socrates has a brother called Sophocles. And captaining Wales is Joey Jones. And a nice touch of handshakes and welcome. In fact, the Wales players came down here to watch the Brazilians train yesterday afternoon at Ninian Park. And Brazil now take an official bow. So let's have a look at the teams. Wales first of all. And from the side that beat Northern Ireland 12 days ago, they've lost Peter Nicholas and Paul Price to club tours. So Jeremy Charles, in the tradition of his illustrious family, reverts from striker to centre-half. And in midfield, there's a place for Nigel Vaughan of Newport County, who wins his second cap. Brazil retain the team that put those four goals past Portugal as well as Socrates and Ed Air, Luizinho, Batista and Pedrinho were also in the World Cup squad in Spain, as was Carica until he damaged a knee on the eve of that tournament. And back in goal now is Leão, who was Brazil's first choice throughout most of the 70s. And Socrates, I suppose, has attracted most of the individual admiration from the hordes of youngsters who have been congregating around the team's hotel on the outskirts of Cardiff. They came here on Friday evening and I must say have been welcoming to all visitors. He's quite a character, Socrates. He's a chain smoker. He's said to enjoy a drink as well. Joey Jones, I suppose, epitomizes the battling spirit that the Welsh have shown so often. They will really need to show the same spirit today. The referee is Jan Redelfs. It's ELFS, actually, from Hanover in West Germany. It's his last ever game. Uh, he retires at the age of 47 after this match. Hey there real free spirit and I'm sure the crowd here hoping that he will be trying those shots from all angles and all ranges that so illuminated the World Cup and it does promise to be a busy afternoon for Neville Southall in the Welsh goal his seventh cap he's only conceded three goals in his previous six internationals Jeremy Charles, whose father Mel wore the Wales number five shirt against Brazil in that World Cup quarterfinal 25 years ago this month. Splendid atmosphere. And the crowd of around 35,000 hoping for a festival of football as much, I think, as hoping for a Wales win. Away we go. Wales attack the goal to the right in the first half. Not only are they under strength, they're a small side in terms of stature, a physical stature as well. Peter, and this is Pedrinho. Ada wearing number 11. I'm sure every little dummy trick and flick will be applauded. This is a serious match for Brazil. The European tour very much 
such part of their building plans. And alongside me, enjoying the atmosphere, Ian St. John. Yes, Martin, it's a terrific atmosphere. And, uh, you know, I believe that uh, Brazil are the people's team. I think everybody in Britain loves to see the Brazilians over here. And they were all looking forward to an enjoyable afternoon. And the fact that they've got so many young players, of course, means that they, they will be playing for places. So I think they'll, they'll be wanting to win all right. Here's Alan Davis. Forced back by Peter. Alan Davis, who had that fairy tale call up to Manchester United's cup final side. Flynn. And Wales falls back. Not appreciated by the home support. But certainly work rate is something that Carlos Alberto Pereira, the Brazil coach, has emphasized a lot to his players. And Jeremy Charles losing out to Ed Air. And he stayed down after the effects of his own challenge. And immediately Socrates and Ed over the ball for the free kick. This is not outside their range. A good 35 yards out. And it's Ed time too high he had the benefit of the wind behind him Martin and uh, as you say I mean that's a good 40 yards from goal and uh, with that wind of course if they get it on target it could cause the goalkeeper some problems it is a blustery afternoon but thankfully a sunny one there was a lot of rain in South Wales yesterday Extravagant touch, Batista dispossessed by Flynn with the use of a hand. Batista, who was in the World Cup squad in 78 as well as 82, but in between those two competitions broke a leg. A massive contingent on Brazil's bench. from Brazil. Ed Air, Socrates. In the end, it wasn't struck particularly cleanly. Actually, the ball that Socrates played through in the first place just held up a little bit. But it fell nicely for him on the return to get the shot in. But that's exactly what the game needed, Mark, was a goal for Wales, because the Brazilians now will be, will be attacking to get back in terms. England could hardly have expected a start like that. Wales first attack. And Flynn came in from a deep position. He came in late and timed his run beautifully and was totally unmarked. His seventh goal for his country. 
and one he will never forget. came to pay tribute to Brazil. They are now right behind Wales. Carlos Alberto, the right-hand side of midfield for Brazil. Jones settling for the throw. Gordon Davis able to keep the ball in play. Leon, who was left totally exposed when Flynn scored. Socrates. And here go Wales again with Gordon Davis. No drive. who finished bottom of the British International Championship on goal difference, even though they won their last match in Belfast. Salah Davis with a cross that passed behind. When you think that Wales are without players of the calibre of Ian Rush, and Alan Curtis, Robbie James, Leighton James. Peter. Now Thomas. Collected by Gordon Davis. The defender. Thomas with the shrug of the shoulders and the little faint. Socrates feeling a yard on Kevin Ratcliffe. with his dignity disturbed. Betal. And it came back off Socrates from the header away by Jeremy Charles, which wasn't particularly decisive. And it struck Socrates on the arm and rebounded for South Hall to catch. Wales operating basically with just two forwards, augmented particularly by Alan Davis on the right-hand side of midfield. Luizinho. And Gordon Davis is offside. Jeff Hopkins. Batista. Wales in crisply. On the Brazil bench, a famous face in the middle of the picture there, just uh, brushing the eyes. It's Gilmar, who was the goalkeeper for Brazil when they won the World Cup in 1958 and 1962. He's now on the technical side of the Brazil party. Caraca, who had such a fine game in Portugal. Swung 
back by Nigel Vaughan initially for Wales. But Brazil certainly haven't been allowed to settle to their rhythm. Oddly enough, they spent much of their practice session here yesterday dealing with early crosses and high balls played into the middle to try and simulate the tactics that they thought Wales would use. But in the early phase of the game, it was a cross that caught them out. But it's ironic, Martin, that Wales probably have got the smallest team they've ever fielded. You know, the four midfield players and the two guys up front have got no height at all. And Brian Flynn, the scorer, at five foot four inches. Strength there from Kevin Ratcliffe. Tops. Marcio wanting Leon to come and claim possession. And what a surprising scoreline that is after 12 minutes. Harris by David Giles. Luizinho. This time it's Gordon Davis applying the pressure. Pushing by Jeremy Charles on Socrates. Just a yard or two nearer from where we saw Adair strike for goal in the opening minute of the game. He's passed the wall again and denied by a marvellous save from Neville Southall. Well, that was an incredible free kick. Look at the bend the ball had. Fantastic save by the goalkeeper, but tremendous pace. And again, remembering the wind was behind them. Southall quickly regaining his concentration as Brazil shaped to take the corner with Adair again. Jeff Hopkins came across to snuff out the danger on the near post. But a really superb acrobatic piece of goalkeeping from the Everton goalkeeper, Neville Southall. Neville Southall, in fact, to fight hard for a place in the first division this season. He spent a while around Christmas time on loan to Port Vale. And they've left Gordon Davis. He's got beyond Pedrinho and couldn't get the ball across the face of the goal. moment Brazil lacking in discipline at the back very open at the back there and really Gordon Davis has got to think he could have done better than just a weak shot at the goalkeeper because the two center backs got really got caught out there Davis got away from him into the hole behind him and really had outstripped him and there he should really have been thinking of maybe pulling it back as a Welshman are running into the middle Socrates Wales with nothing to lose here. Really having a go at Brazil. <laughs> Jeremy Charles. in that part of the ground. Quick free kick taken by Flynn and Leal lost it as Giles went in. Karakar 
laying the ball off for Betal. And Leal conducting a debate with Pedrinho about the incident a moment or two ago. Peter. It's a nice turn, but the second challenge came in from Vaughan. Certainly, Wales with a midfield built for industry here. And Adair was sent flying by Hopkins. But was quickly back on his feet this time. Charles, and there was a aspect of retaliation from Adair. Who's something of a hot-tempered individual. Peter. There. Oh. It was Alan Davis who came away with the ball. And if Vaughan had continued his forward momentum there, it might have paid off for Wales. He has the ball now, Nigel Vaughan. Nicely linking up with Gordon Davis. Batista. Charles right into the back of Kareka. Carlos Alberto was the furthest player forward for Brazil. 22 years old, midfield player from Palmeiras. Ratcliffe. Brazil still looking to fall into any pattern of play, really. Socrates uh, is playing almost as a front player, Martin, which is a bit unusual, isn't it? Because he normally plays from midfield and attacks from there, but he's got himself packed up the front this afternoon. Yes, he's up to the right-hand side of their attacking plans with Kareka slightly more central. Pedrinho with the throw. Luizinho. And it's Carlos Alberto who's caught offside. And, uh, reaction in terms of the applause for the ball being retrieved by the Brazilian. A difficult time for Carlos Alberto Pereira in the centre of the picture there. You might remember him. He was the coach for Kuwait in the last World Cup. We were in England's group, of course. It's only his third match in charge of Brazil. And as a Brazilian manager, you're expected to win every game. Joey Jones. Interception from Marcio. Miscue from Jones. The Brazilians were well pleased with the state of the pitch, the amount of grass on it, but weren't too happy that they felt it was on the narrow side. And they show unhappiness again. They're defending. Socrates. Here's Vaughan for Wales. Thomas. Reminder of the score. Wales 1, Brazil 0. The scorer, Brian Flynn, in the fifth minute. Giles, who's offside, and Gordon Davis in trouble. Trying to fall awkwardly. Meanwhile, it's 
Carlos Alberto for Brazil. And uh, beaten by Hopkins. He wants to go forward and was in need of some help, which was late arriving for Wales on that occasion. Carlos Alberto taken from him by Charles. Pedrinho. And Peter. And the problem for Gordon Davis has led to him going off the pitch for the moment. Thomas. Giving the Brazilians a touch of their own individual inspiration. But it's collarbone that seems to be a problem for Gordon Davis. Hey there. Here's Pedrinho. Socrates ahead of him. Pedrinho, who was a scorer in Portugal on Wednesday. Ada, they don't give him that sort of room. And Socrates. The tackle came in quickly from Ratcliffe. Carica. As the ball goes out of play, Gordon Davis comes back into the action. The tops. And Marcio high above Gordon Davis. Alan Davis. in a spot of shirt pulling on Alan Davis, but it's Flynn, and still Brian Flynn. And they are on full stretch, and fortunately for Brazil, there was no one following in for Wales. But Ian, again, the marking was poor. Well, they're playing flat Brazil at the back, and they've, they've almost been caught two or three times, Martin, and that was another chance there. Well, it was a nice little flick, and Brian Flint coming from the back, got through again. Tried to play it across the goalkeeper, which is the right thing to do, and the goalkeeper just managed to get a hand to it. Peter. Socrates. Ratcliffe, who is a particularly quick defender. Made ground to get there before Carica. Kevin Ratcliffe of Everton. Pedrinho. The back header from Giles that he has to chase himself. Eder. I'm just thinking, uh, Martin, at number two, uh, Jeff Hopkins is having a, a very good game against Ada this afternoon. I mean, it's a tremendous uh, achievement, really, to be playing from the English second division of Fulham, to be playing against probably the world's most famous number 11. And uh, the boy's doing very well. He was only 19 in April. He's only played once before for Wales. Zinho wanted to let it run. Charles was claiming quite vociferously that the throw should go to Wales. The linesman was unmoved. He now calls Pedrinho back. All the officials from West Germany. 
Karika. Pedrinho. And this time it's Davis working back. Alan Davis. Pedrinho is Junior's understudy in terms of the international side, but many good judges in Brazil rate him an even better player. Gordon Davis. He's gone behind for the goal kick. Gordon Davis waited until his eighth international for his first goal for his country. It came in Belfast 12 days ago. reached the final of the Brazilian National Cup competition. Mistake by Carica. Now Thomas. Giles collecting the throw from Jones. He tries again. This time looking for Gordon Davis. And a corner. For height at the corner, Wales had to call up the defenders. Joey Jones has gone to the near post. Jeremy Charles, the number five, looking to attack the ball from the edge of the area. And it almost reached Charles. And the touch on came from a Brazilian on the near post. And it was Flynn with the that pass that nearly allowed Socrates the smell of an opening. And Carlos Alberto onto the touchline to make a point to his players. <laughs> Pedrinho. Where Brazil may have been slightly surprised is by the mobility of the Welsh side. I'm sure they felt that they were going to be faced by tall attackers waiting for early crosses, as have been Wales' style in the past. I also think, Martin, that the occasion uh, of making Wales play more football than normal, you know, they're playing it on the ground a la Brazilian style. Southall has already made a significant contribution to this match with his save from Ed Air out bravely to thwart Socrates. Pedrinho. Ed Air. This time has stolen a yard on Hopkins. Cross was measured for Karika, but arrived a yard too high for him. Karika, the most expensive player in terms of transfers between two Brazilian clubs, moved from Guarani to Sao Paulo for £700,000 last year. Flynn. now played. Wales still leading by Brian Flynn's goal in the fifth minute. Alan Davis has played just four first division games but also two FA Cup finals if you count the replay as the second game and now two internationals. Batista. He 
Here's Peter. Hopkins had a problem initially with the bounce, but responded well to that challenge to guide the ball back to South Hall. Giles. Caught from behind by Marcio. David Giles starting a game for Wales for the first time since November 1980. Flag stayed down and Royale just did enough against Jeremy Charles. His defenders had deserted him. asking South Hall how many he wanted in the wall. Hey there, and Karika and Marcio both attack the ball. South Hall on his line. It was Marcio who got his head to it, in fact, and it was only a foot wide. Pushing Gordon Davis. And Wales have sent Jeremy Charles forward again. He's the target. Thomas used a hand. I must say that at six and sevens, Martin, the Brazilians at the back there. They're all prepared to come out just as the kick has been taken. And Socrates at the back there, he was the only one that stayed that played Jeremy Charles on side. And the incident before that was exactly the same. Jeremy Charles came in from the back at a free kick while everybody ran out and he was on side and came in. So, you know, it's something they've obviously they're trying to do. It's a new tactic for them and they've not quite got it right yet. Carry car. Joey Jones. Gordon Davis in strongly. It was cleared by Batista. And here's Flynn. by Joey Jones that had <laughs> Mike England putting his head into his hands. Batista. Hey there. Another mistake quite out of character from the Brazilians. The teamwork is coming from Wales. And Ian, it's almost as though in Carlos Alberto Pereira's quest for perhaps organization and tactical play from the Brazilians, he's disrupted some of their natural flow. Well, he's certainly got uh, the certain players thinking more about the tactical side of it than the, the playing side, because again, they were all running up to the halfway line there, and, and the number five, Batista, again, he, had, he was playing everybody on side, so it's obviously something that uh, they're working on, but I would, I would like to see them concentrate more on their passing, which has been very sloppy today, very unresolved. Carlos Alberto for Ada. Pedrinho. Socrates. Pedrinho now made contact with Bourne. And it looks as though the referee has given the free kick on the edge of the area. So there certainly could be problems here for Wales. Pedrinho is 
he loves to do, linking up with the attack when he was bought by Nigel Bourne. Wales have called everyone back. It's the biggest wall they can muster. And Adair on the hit Flynn, and Carlos Alberto put it into the terraces. Well, I know that Adair has got a tremendous shot, but the fact that all the, the Welsh boys were in the wall, surely there was enough space around the wall there for some of the other Brazilians to come in, take a pass and have a shot at goal from a clear area. There you are. I mean, I've never seen a wall with so many players in it. They tried to blast it through and hit Brian Flynn with it. Now, the number seven, uh, Carlos Alberto, who had the shot there knocked over the bar, he's been very disappointed, Mark. Uh, he really doesn't look the class of... Uh, you know, previous Brazilian players I've seen. The whistle is gone. That's, that's Carlos Alberto, and uh, really he's wandered around in the game and hardly got a kick. Batista with the free kick for Pedrinho. Too high for Socrates. The foul was by Rosinho, and a rugged challenge it was too. Well, the three and four of uh, Brazil certainly get stuck in a bit, don't they? You know, Marcio and Lazinho. Which really is quite typical because they've always had strong central defenders. You know, they've got great midfield players, great forwards, but their two central defenders have always been players that, that could put their foot in. And these two are no exception. Gordon Davis on the receiving end again. Luizinho played in all five of Brazil's games in Spain in the World Cup. faces and it's not just that Wales are leading it's that Brazil apart from that one explosive shot from Adair that Southall saved so dramatically Brazil really haven't put their game together at all they have eight other players on the bench all changed the rules for this friendly international allow for three substitutes plus the goalkeeper an agreement made this morning between the two nations. Moisinho with a clearance as Jeremy Charles was making life difficult for him. Carlos Alberto and that uncertainty that Ian was mentioning shows again a corner conceded quite unnecessarily. That would have been a lovely own goal, that wouldn't it? I think Jimmy Green's back in the studio would have liked to talk about that one at the end of the season. That's how close he came to embarrassing Leon. The signals come from Flynn. And Giles found himself with almost a free header. Leon looked uncertain in dealing with the in swinging corner. You just think, Martin, that, you know, that Wales don't have any height, as we were saying before, in their attack. Somebody like John Torshak, had he been playing, you know, somebody who could head the ball, would have caused them, I would think, some tremendous problems because they're not handling the ball in there well at all. Watching Wales rehearse their set pieces yesterday, and everything was aimed for Jeremy Charles, and it may be that that was slightly mishit in Charles's direction. Here is David Giles. Hopkins has gone outside him. Hey there. Ratcliffe in the way for Wales. Gordon Davis just unable to keep it in play, which is unfortunate for Wales. Five minutes left of the first half, and Wales still worthy of that lead. And rewarding all those who have supported this fixture in Cardiff. 
this time of year. Asio lashed out. That's Alan Davis. England, who has done such a good job since he's taken over as the Wales manager. This is his 26th international in charge, and Wales have only lost eight of the previous 25. Karika. Hey there. Adrino went outside him. Won't give up easily. And wins another little victory against the illustrious opponent. And Hopkins again for Gordon Davis. And perhaps a change of mind at a crucial moment cost him the opening. And Hopkins still involved. What a splendid first half he's had. Gordon Davis. Zinho got the ball. And Ayla is offside. Wales are chasing a, what would be a first ever victory over Brazil. It's the sixth meeting between the two countries. Brazil have won the other five. Carlos Alberto. Davis stopping Pedrinho, taken up by Giles. Trip by Luizinho again. Certain display at the back by Brazil. Batista, full stretch. As Batista waits, Wales have brought Mickey Thomas across to take the corner. Socrates is defending the near post where there is Joey Jones for Wales. Hey there. Well, that's not the place for back heels like that, but Einstein is flagging as Marcio puts it behind. But Hey there producing a, a trick in entirely the wrong area of the pitch. And yeah, I'm sure that uh, I don't think we'd see a British player trying anything like that. I mean, the back heels. They're so good at back heels, but uh, I think Adair's having such a tough time today against uh, Hopkins that uh, he's lost his concentration slightly, I should think. Flynn. Vaughan's gone through the middle. They've left Alan Davis. And Royal has lost his bearings. The wind played a trick or two then. Diverted the ball away from the goalkeeper and kept it in play. Alan Davis in the clear. And it was Gordon Davis who was waiting for any error. Luizinho put it behind for the corner. Gordon Davis coming out for the short corner. And the whistle has gone for half time. And Brian Flynn's goal coming in the fifth minute. The only goal of the first half. What an extraordinary scoreline, really. 
but Wales grateful to, to a superb save from Neville Southall from Adair. Brazil certainly nowhere near their best. And Wales, with all the industry and enthusiasm we know from them, even though they're well below full strength. We'll take a break now and then back with Brian and Jimmy Greaves in the studio. Yes, Wales won, Brazil nil. Who would have thought it? Uh, we came, Jimmy Greaves, to pay tribute to Brazil, and we are now left applauding Wales, and they thoroughly deserve their interval lead, don't they? Oh, yeah, indeed they do. But, I mean, but you know, we <laughs> set a draw before, and they started with a draw, and here they are. And, and in, in actual fact, I mean, one, it might well have been a bit more than that, mind you. Division, and Nigel Vaughan and Brian Flynn with third division sides. hodgepodge selection for Wales and they lead Brazil 1-0 at the start of the second half and the bird that was on the pitch we saw at the kickoff went off chasing the ball and now takes up residence in the goal mouth where it might be a little bit dangerous a header from Betal Batista. Here's Paolo Isidoro guiding it on cleverly for Socrates. It's Vaughan who made the tackle. Batista. Vaughan again. off the pitch so the game can restart Batista a long way away from the trainers who are sprinting around behind the goal to try and bring in some treatment they restarting with the free kick Alan Davis Charles We understand that Mike England's instruction to his players were quite simply just to keep up the style of play that was so successful in the first 45 minutes. But just be a little bit more deliberate in front of goal. Four. Thomas, pass better. Crowd rise as Thomas plays in the cross and Flynn. Well, Leal's dive robbed Brian Flynn of an outstanding goal, which would have been worthy of any Brazilian. A volley that was right on target until Leal tipped it wide. Certainly the smallest man on the field rising to this occasion. Thomas with the corner. Joey Jones with the back header. Jeremy Charles. Well, Will certainly starting the second half in uh, fight for Martin. That was a tremendous shot there, wasn't it? By Little Brian. And again, the, the, the uh, corner kick had him in a little bit of trouble as well. Joey Jones getting the knock on at the near post. As I was saying in the first half, the Brazilians not able to handle the high stuff. And Brian Flynn, in fact, I think his place was in some jeopardy had Wales had greater resources for this game. He hasn't been particularly at his best in Wales' recent internationals. Giles Val and Marcio gets the yellow card for persistent infringements. number recorded by the West German referee Jan Redelfs and it's Gordon 
Davis with the volley. And almost dropped the way of Thomas. Marcio lunging to put it behind for another corner. Time break has done nothing to dull the edge of Wales. <laughs> was dealt with acrobatically by Betal. And it was Charles who was off target then. Socrates chasing. And Joey Jones nearly putting through his own goal. Southall can afford to grin. Jones to reflect. Well, that was amazing, isn't it? Almost two own goals in the, in the one match. Brazil have the corner. And Karakar met it, and Southall was fortunate that the ricochet came his way. Hopkins. England also quite cleverly took a lot of the pressure off his players for this game by really publicly announcing that he certainly didn't expect any victory. And we still have an extra player on the pitch. throw Alan Davis here's Hopkins now Giles Paolo Isidoro has to hack it to safety they look on shirt sleeves with enjoyment of course but I'm sure with astonishment as well Leon chooses to use the fists Charles a judge to have pushed Isidoro that wasn't where the offence took place Giles working back. Wales just swarming around the Brazilians, the small, maneuverable midfield, augmented by Giles and Gordon Davis, posing problems again. Gordon Davis felt that he was on the receiving end of an elbow. kick is Brazil's well, there certainly was a feeling here that this would be something of a end of season festival it's now a very highly competitive international football match Well, I, would th I think he's a very lucky boy he's still on the field, Martin, because he's diving into the back of Davis every time the ball gets played up the field. Another time.
it off. In comes Charles. Against the post, Gordon Davis. Well, it was a header from Jeremy Charles in the manner of his uncle John. And how close it came, Gordon Davis really should have done better with the rebound. Ian, Brazil fortunate, really, that they're only one goal adrift. Yeah, that was a, um, you could say, you know, a glaring chance, really, you know, that uh, he may have been surprised at the ball coming off the post because it was a tremendous header by Jeremy Charles. That would have been a super goal had it gone in. But he certainly caused him a lot of problems, Jeremy Charles, at all the set pieces. And Socrates gets less power into his headed effort. Batista. The skill to play his way initially out of trouble. Socrates. He's left on the deck by Charles coming into his back. The tackling is fast and furious. And overstepping the mark at times. Ten minutes into the second half, Wales won, Brazil nil, still the score. Thomas. Too far ahead of Alan Davis. Flynn, a little tussle with Carlos Alberto. of the times that's happened as the ball is played into his feet either Luizinho as it was on that occasion or Marcio have come straight through the back of Gordon Davis well I think the referee has been very very lenient with both the center halves I mean Luizinho is a certainty to get his name taken as well but uh, both of them as you were saying Martin definitely on a tightrope now I mean they just can't be allowed to keep on doing this Carlos Alberto Pereira is a coach who believes in the physical approach and the Brazilian benches faces of apprehension Charles well forward again he'll try and reposition now the ball is with Vaughan crowd didn't see it that way before bouncing back onto Nigel Vaughan before it went over the line Though for Paolo Isidoro. Linking up with Batista. There, there. It was left into the middle, but was delivered hurriedly. And too far in advance of his teammates who were arriving. crowd in marvellous voice and rightly so there is a doubt about Socrates's long-term position within the Brazilian squad whether he'll be part of their plans for the next World Cup but as far as their immediate problems here are concerned very important and those less experienced and there are several in this Brazil side will be looking to him for guidance indeed for some show of inspiration 
he's been marked so tightly. Free kick given for a push on Hopkins by Carica. Brazilians here have been looking for souvenirs, and Leon was seen yesterday afternoon talking to a policeman looking to negotiate swapping a Brazilian shirt for a policeman's helmet to take back to Brazil. I'm not sure whether he was successful in that quest. Charles had made the tackle, knocked the ball out for a throw in. You know, and he wasn't pretending. This is a challenge coming up now as he slid in there, knocked the ball out of play, obviously hurt himself, and he's lying there in pain. And the referee allows not a quick throw in because the ball had run up the line. He allowed time to, to uh, relapse, and to get, instead of stopping again, he allowed it to go on. I must say, if I was a Welshman, I'd be very disappointed in that one. A very cruel decision against Wales. Charles is still off the pitch. But it is Wales 1, Brazil 1, and we've got half an hour left. Tragedy upon tragedy if Jeremy Charles has to end his contribution to this game. Substitute Dudley Lewis from Swansea for his first cap. when they desperately needed some help from somewhere. And Karika. It's a corner. Here's Dudley Lewis, who won a regular place in the Swansea side at the end of last season. Silent on this occasion, Paolo Isidoro. So Hopkins with the free kick. Well, 
certainly Mike England must feel a great sense of injustice at the moment. indicating that he felt his shirt was pulled in the first place by Vaughan. Vaughan, in fact, was trying to intercede to defend Paolo Isidoro from being booked. Well, Marcio got the ball, but seemed to come through Davis to do so. Vaughan. Lewis in sharply. But it's his miss hit back pass that has let Socrates in. And to the rescue, Neville Southall. Carlos Alberto indicating perhaps how Socrates should have scored. Certainly Lewis under hit the back pass. Socrates foiled by Southall. Good save by Neville Southall there, Mark. Terrific saves on the fight. Normally, if Socrates goes through in a goalkeeper like that, you would expect him to put it away. 25 minutes left. Joey Jones. Wales having to reorganise slightly to incorporate Lewis into the back four the towering height of Jeremy Charles. Southall using the ball quickly. Paolo Isidoro. Pass Jones. Now Socrates, but it came behind him. And thundered over the bar by Carlos Alberto. But it's a more buoyant Brazil. Well, I said uh, at half time there, I felt it would play better, you know, against the win, and they're certainly doing that. But I think the Jeremy Charles incident has changed the complex of the game now, Mark. They'll say, swinging, I think, now in Brazil's favour. Now Socrates. Given away, it seemed, by Batal. Batista won it back. Batal again. And Socrates! First there was Lewis. Thought maybe a diving header would have given Handy Mark. I thought if he'd have dived, he would have got his head to that one. But a good interception by young Lewis. Hey there, not taking full allowance for the conditions. The ball swirling behind out of play. And the Welsh supporters taunting Brazil with cries of Italia. And they were chanting the name of Paolo Rossi, who of course scored a hat-trick for Italy against Brazil in the World Cup. And Gordon Davis couldn't quite reach from Marcio's casual backheader. That was an incredible backhead, wasn't it? I mean, he just didn't know where the opposition were, and uh, I mean, they were very lucky to get rid of that one. Paolo Isidoro entered smoothly into the Brazil pattern in the second half. Hey there. Hopkins with the header. Not to 
support Alan Davis is in possession. Flynn. to look for food than in the middle of an international football match. <laughs> Wales have a free kick. In from Flynn. And up from Joey Jones, held by Leon. That was a free header for Joey there, and uh, we've been saying about the marking in the Brazilian defence. I mean, it's non-existent again there, and Joey should really maybe have done better there with that. Lewis. I'm sure Wales didn't expect the number of chances that have come their way. The chances still come their way. Must be a source of encouragement, even after the disappointment of the way the Brazilian goal came about. Giles can settle for the corner. And takes it quickly. And Brazil are slow to respond. And offside. Flag went up straight away. Well, that turn of Brazilians came out in unison, and uh, the Welshmen were offside. But uh, that's something they haven't been doing, and uh, you know maybe they're getting their act together as the game goes on. with a header. Back by Luisinho. with a pass that was aimed for Gordon Davis. Edair. Now Pedrinho. The referee waves away. Brazilian appeals. Ian? Well, interesting. I mean, uh, if we get a chance to look at that again, Martin, I thought he'd burst between uh, the two Welsh defenders here. Let's have a look. No, I think he's just had a little bit of a dive there. Certainly think the uh, camera angle there indicated that Pedrinho dived. Paolo Isidoro. It really is extraordinary how many times Brazil have given the ball away when they've been in possession. Gordon Davis is offside. Brazil go on from here to play Switzerland next Friday and then the following Wednesday play in Gothenburg against Sweden, a match to commemorate that World Cup of 1958. Giles hesitated, Luisinho was in quickly. Giles who came away with the ball up. Jones. Leal throwing the 
ball out because Luizinho is in trouble. Now this is interesting, Matt. Will the referee allow the game to go on the way that... Yes, he is. He's allowing the game to carry well, at on. At least he's been consistent here. Yeah, he's wrong both times. And Luizinho is rapidly on his feet. Wales have a corner. Batista rushed across to claim the ball from the ball boy. To delay the taking of the corner. Flynn's corner. Came off Batista. Ratcliffe is well forward. And Leal tangling with Joey Jones, which could be a dangerous thing. Socrates has his say. None of the Brazilian players speak English. And maybe in any way, they might uh, struggle to pick up the dialect the Welsh captain. So with 15 minutes left, it's still perfectly balanced. Wales won, Brazil won. Socrates. All credit to Wales because Brazil have never really been able to settle and indulge themselves when in possession. Wales have sustained their pace throughout. This is Baton. And Socrates, Ada. They found one when it mattered. Or oh, have they? The linesman reacted. It certainly seemed late to me. But the goal does not stand for offside. He certainly put his flag up uh, as soon as the ball was played in there. This is how we're looking at now and we'll see. I say they're coming in at the back, but Socrates is offside and definitely affecting play. Good decision by the linesman. So it stays 1 1. Paolo Isidoro for Carica. We've seen little of him. A player who scored twice against Portugal on Wednesday. Here's Carica now. Socrates. Header away from Ratcliffe. A jump challenge by Mickey Thomas. But he jumped in with one foot. Socrates, Betau, really hung up, caught on the win. Paolo Zidoro with a header that didn't test Southall. are looking to make a second substitution. Number nine, David Giles, the player it seems will be called off. And 
Number 16 is Steve Lowndes of Newport County. as a substitute against Scotland here in the British Championship. Jones. Luizinho. Losing out. And Vaughan. Confusion again in Brazil's goal mouth. Jones, Betau, straight to Thomas, and Leal just kept it out. Mickey Thomas, who's got a dozen goals for Stoke this season. But again, the defensive play of Brazilians was uh, very, very poor, and only a great goalkeeper keeping them in the game here. That was two mistakes, one after the other, Martin. Thomas across to take the corner. Karaka half away. Here's Vaughan. And they are with an easier task this time. Well, the goalkeeper who was looking for souvenirs of his stay in Britain yesterday will have as a souvenir the memory of a busy afternoon, as indeed will Carlos Alberto Pereira. Scotland at Hampden Park. Batal. And again. Giles. of cramp maybe for Carlos Alberto. A chance for Wales to make their substitution. Giles in fact ended in a heap by the touchline. And Mike England applauds his work. Steve Lowndes has taken his place and immediately pushed up front alongside Gordon Davis. Is basically for his club on the right hand side of midfield. He got 14 goals for Newport County in the third division this season. Well, there's no foul given. Carlos Alberto in the wars again. And a goal kick off Lowndes. indicated that any treatment can be given. The uh, trainer there, a famous Brazilian figure known as Knockout Jack, an ex-boxer. He's been knocked out metaphorically by the referee himself, told to get off the pitch for the moment. sunshine here have had plenty to enjoy and will go away feeling cheated I'm sure about the manner of Brazil's equaliser Marcio Regular visitors to this ground have had a good season, of course, with Cardiff City winning a place back in the second division. Down goes Batista. Don't 
Socrates. Another free kick, one for Wales by Gordon Davis. Brazil have a, another substitute warming up on the touchline, Jorginho. But there are only some four and a half minutes of normal time remaining. He thought it was the chest. The referee blew straight away. Socrates. Paolo Isidoro couldn't collect. Wales being urged forward. Flint. The head of Horn. Here's Carlos Alberto. Hey there. Wales must keep their discipline and concentration now. Referee's attention has been attracted, and Carlos Alberto goes off for Jorginho, who came on as a substitute in Portugal on Wednesday and does so again here. Batista. Thomas gets it away. have performed heroically in midfield but they might be caught here and Kevin Ratcliffe who's had a fine game as well holding that charge and he's gone forward himself in support of Lowndes of Gordon Davis who has spread wide at the moment Thomas had to hold the ball up and the flick up between Mickey Thomas and Paolo Isidoro a savory episode right under the nose of the referee and Thomas caution for his part Paolo Isidoro already shown the yellow card earlier in the second half but it was a shame for Wales because they were in possession and there were possibilities of a break of some meaning Karika climbed well very confident header back from Jeff Hopkins. Flynn. Foul given against Batista. So can Wales give us a dramatic conclusion? goes Jones Thomas still with energy and doing extremely well to keep the ball in play with the back heel but Wales haven't flagged Thomas again away by Batista Lounds <laughs> 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 
Ian, overall, a, a verdict on Wales' performance? Well, terrific performance by Wales, obviously, Martin. You know, to, to get a draw, if it, if it finishes a draw against Brazil, albeit a very much an experimental Brazil, it's still a great result. And I think it's been an enjoyable game overall. I've, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought Wales have played some good football, made some chances and, uh, and missed some chances. But all in all, I think people have got their money's worth today. Certainly has been an exhilarating climax to the domestic season. And apart from the goals, the save that Southall made from Ed Air and Leal's save from Flynn's volley will both live long in the memory as we move into stoppage time. Brazil, I feel, have settled. They're happy to get a draw. What a fine result for a second string Welsh team. They've held the world's mightiest football nation, a result of which they can be truly proud. Brian Flynn, the scorer, after four minutes. Paolo Isidoro, a confident equaliser. We'll take a break now. Join us again for Brian Moore and Jimmy Greaves in the studio. So Wales won, Brazil won. Uh, we got a quick reaction from Mike England, the Wales manager, about that controversial incident that led to the Brazil equaliser. Immediately after the game, he said, I was disgusted.